Wide now, our city. Here in Austin, the vote was closed for that $90 million bond package. Proposition 1 did pass 56% of the vote. Our Kate White on now with those details. Good afternoon. Well, one of the big projects underneath this bond package is actually along here, along the hike and bike trail. It's to close that mile long gap that runs just east of the Statesman building all the way down to Lakeshore Park. Now, the cost to close this gap is about $17 million, but under this bond, $14 million will be covered. Now, the money will also be used to add bicycle lanes in six different sections of the city, and the goal with that is to encourage more residents to leave their car at home and bike to work. The bond also covers wide and building more sidewalks, not to mention street improvements. $4 million under this bond will go for road improvements at the Y in Oak Hill and $2.3 million for improvements to the intersection at I-35 and East 51st Street. Austin's mayor says many of the projects will get underway soon. This is a, the first very small step, as I've said, in a very long journey. Uh, it's going to take a generation to uh, fully address our traffic congestion problem. The mayor also says that the bond is not going to raise taxes. That's because this bond is within the city's bonding capacity, meaning the city can afford to pay off the debt. In Austin, Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News.